Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about products. We're just gonna sit down and chit chat on some hashtag list picks at Sephora. Y'all really know like my in and out, like day to day holy grail products. So today I'm actually really excited to be focusing more on new products that I've received recently in PR because there is some really, really dope stuff coming out for hair, makeup, and skincare that I am so excited to share with you guys. Also very exciting, the Sephora spring sale is happening right now until April 11th. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get into it. So we gotta start off with my favorite category, which is hair, duh. There is a trend that I'm noticing that's going on where skincare brands are now coming out with their own hair care lines, which is crazy. Like skincare and hair care can really go hand in hand, especially when you're talking specifically about scalp care as well. Um, I will say when I first got the PR packages, I was like, wait, what? Who's doing hair now? But y'all. Some of these things are good. So I was lucky enough to try the Inky List hair products. And y'all, I have three very strong favorites that I love so much. I've been using them every wash ever since. So first up, we have their salicylic acid exfoliating scalp treatment. Y'all, this is so good for so many reasons. If there's anything in life that I can do to simplify a task, make it easier, quicker, I am into it. And this makes scalp care very, very easy. There's no scrubbers in there. It's actually a liquid consistency, and I love that. The packaging, you literally just bloop, 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 bloop. Very, very easy, even for thick hair. Yeah, I just love it so much for that. So it's actually a pre-wash treatment as well. So it would be like your first step in your wash day routine, and you just put it in your dirty scalp, rub it in, let it sit there for 10 minutes, and then you proceed with the rest of your wash. So the salicylic acid that's in here is actually gonna do all of the hard exfoliating work for you the first time I used this I started out with super like itchy flaky kind of scalp because I, I, I waited a little bit long for my wash day okay I'm sorry but literally immediately after using this my flakes were gone itchiness was gone my scalp was fully just soothed and nice and balanced and I am obsessed and it's not just me this actually sold out after just three weeks of being at Sephora and it's just now back in stock y'all so I'm gonna make sure that I can hurry up and quickly snag a couple backups especially especially with spring and summer coming around the hotter weather there's sweating and everything scalp care is definitely a lot more important in the hot weather months in my opinion at least absolutely 12 out of 10 recommends I also really like this which is their chia seed curl defining hair cream it's kind of like a treatment there are many different ways that you can use this product you can use it as a leave-in style cream or if you're like me and you don't really like to leave in creams how I personally love to use this is actually as a boost to my conditioner or deep conditioner whatever I'm using that wash day and it just gives an extra boost of hydration and it's packed with a ton of ingredients that's really good for encouraging curl definition as well which is something I always like to have and last but certainly not least this is the hyaluronic acid hydrating hair treatment this is innovative this is really cool so you know how like normally for skincare you have hyaluronic acid serums that are really great for like holding tons of moisture for your skin well, they've gone ahead and developed that same product, but just for hair. Let me just show you guys the consistency. So it's literally just like a serum. It's super, super lightweight, gets absorbed immediately. I just love it. So like right before I'm going in with gel, I will add a little bit of this. I don't go crazy. I don't use like a ton. And like instantly, first of all, your hair gets super shiny and then I just slap the gel on top and boom it offers the moisture that you need without weighing it down like heavy butters and creams and stuff and it's perfect it is genius to me and my curls have genuinely the biggest difference that I've noticed since I've been using this is that my hair is shiny she is shiny shiny y'all okay let's just appreciate these curls today so I am super super impressed they have a ton of other products that you can check out at both Sephora and the InkyList.com. You can also go on their website to do like a hair recipe builder and they will give you product recommendations specifically personalized for your hair types. So you guys definitely don't sleep on the Inky List hair products for sure. Another hair product that I would 12 out of 10 recommend is this. This is Briogeo's newest product, their rice water protein and moisture strengthening treatment, bomb.com. 
I'm gonna even go as far as saying that it has kind of taken the place of my regular Don't Despair Repair deep conditioning mask. And don't get me wrong, they actually work very, very well together, especially if you have like super damaged hair. So you can use this treatment along with the deep conditioning mask to like give you insane strengthening and moisture benefits, right? But because my hair is already healthy and I just need something very simple, again, me simplifying my routine at all costs, <laughs> I just need something simple to just help maintain the health of my hair overall, and this is doing it for me. This is just something that I have been using on a monthly basis as a little treatment for my hair, a little zhuzh of protein with equal parts of moisture in there as well. And so the last hair product that I actually wanted to talk about, I wasn't sure if I wanted to add it in this video yet because just being transparent, I actually haven't personally had a chance to try it yet. Literally my next wash, I'm like, it's gonna be perfect, I'm gonna try it then. Uh, but it's this, this is the Whey Shampoo Detox or detox shampoo, whatever you wanna call it. But basically it's a really good like clarifying shampoo and it's actually got apple cider vinegar in here, which is great. Like I love apple cider vinegar for a really good deep cleanse cause it's good for cleansing, but also like balancing the hair. I'm really, really, really excited to try it. And I did look on Sephora and I actually looked at the reviews. They have over a thousand reviews and they are at full five stars, honey. And that's, that's very rare to see a product have so many reviews and they're all basically like five star. It's crazy. I'm actually not sure if this is new, but it's new to me cause I just received it in a PR package. So maybe it is new or maybe they just randomly decided to send it to me. I don't know, but I did want to mention it because it seems really cool. And again, because the sale is on, it is a really good time to go out and try it. So that's gonna be it for our hair category. Let's move on into makeup. So there are actually a ton of very exciting makeup products. The trend that I'm noticing with makeup this year is people are infusing skincare into our complexion products. And I think that is awesome. I love that so much, especially for spring and summer when you're looking for something more lightweight, more simple, more breathable, and something that's also gonna benefit your skin while it's so like hot and icky outside. I'm so excited about the complexion products this year. So I have four of them in front of me that I wanna go ahead and suggest to you guys, but they're all kind of a little bit different in their own ways. So I'm gonna start off with the one that has the absolute lightest coverage. So it's the Rose Ink Skin Enhanced Luminous Tinted Serum, y'all. And it's, yes, a tinted serum, not even necessarily a foundation. So this has a ton of benefits for your skin. Keep it nice and happy and hydrated. It's very, very lightweight, but it's blurring and smoothing to the skin at the same time. So I actually have it on right now, but not by itself. I actually have it on with the Fenty powder foundation on top because I just wanted a little bit of additional coverage for a couple of my dark spots, you know. So something super lightweight and breathable that I love. I actually recently posted about this on Instagram and y'all have been loving it and I'm so glad. If you're somebody who feels like you want a little bit of additional coverage, because that is very, I would just call that straight up, very light coverage, then I would suggest any of the other three I'm about to mention right now. Of course, this is the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. This is actually, I know we sat down and did a full review on it, and I told you guys I would update you on Instagram, like, am I really actually loving it? Is it better than Soft Matte? Y'all, I, this has replaced my NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation, which is crazy because that's all I've been wearing. If you are interested in hearing a full on detailed review and seeing it applied and all the action and stuff, I will link my video up here and down below so you guys can check that out as well. But just know that I love this foundation. If I want to look snatched, I want a little bit of additional coverage, but I still want the skin benefits and also want it to feel good on my skin, like nice and lightweight, not super cakey and heavy and stuff. Boom, this is it. This is what I'm going for, okay? The new Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation is also very very similar to the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. It is super creamy, it's blurring, and I love it. I actually wear shade 10 Neutral. They always also come through with the most beautiful packaging. I love me some Charlotte Tilbury. It always just feels so nice and Hollywood and bougie. Yeah, again, infused with skin benefits, so your skin is getting snatched and you're getting put together and everything, but it's actually feeding your skin at the same time. So I just, I love this whole concept of skincare infused 
makeup. I'm here for it. Last complexion product that I wanted to mention is this one by Kosas. I did receive like all of these in PR. I'm a little bit sad about this one because I did not get one that, or I didn't get the right shade that fits my skin tone. This is a little bit dark. Like the, the tone is there, but it's really dark. So I have to really correct with concealer when I'm using it. But the foundation itself is actually gorgeous. It is gorgeous. It has a beautiful finish. Again, it's obviously skincare infused and we all know Kosas is actually a clean skincare brand. So if you're really into more clean at Sephora, actually, are all these clean at Sephora? Let me double check. Okay, so it looks like the two, these two, so the Rose Ink and the Kosas are clean at Sephora and then the NARS and the Charlotte Tilbury are not clean at Sephora. So yeah, Complexion is having a whole moment and I am here for it. I also have got a couple of blushes y'all like the blush that I got on today let me give you the deeds so it's one of the newer rare beauty blushes in the shade love y'all do you see this color I noticed that like for my skin tone I look really good with like like a deep peach that like this is what I would describe that as a deep toned peach always looks so good it just mm, it is like perfect this is one of my favorite colors to wear on my cheeks and so i am obsessed these are actually really really pigmented though so what i do is i'll apply like a lot underneath my foundation and then i'll pack a little bit of foundation on top and then whatever kind of excess products i have on my brush that i use to apply it first i'll go in on top with a little bit of added color if i need it if not sometimes you actually don't need it because these things like i said are pigmented but today i did add a little bit of extra on top and i just i love it i also received this nars palette it is a what do they call it a cheek palette it's called afterglow let me let me just show you what's in here because this is a beautiful palette if i could just get it open that would be good look at this palette are you seeing what I'm seeing are you seeing this right here this is wild and it is look at this one one little swatch and look at that pigment this is a beautiful palette so it's just a bunch of blushes different colors and then these two on the ends at the top here are actually highlighters I love blush I really really love blush lately I've been actually wearing more blush than bronzer, which is crazy because I had a real infatuation with bronzer for a while. But blush is just, whew. I also want to put you guys on to this mascara. I talked a lot about this on Instagram, so I needed to give y'all the tea on here on YouTube as well. This mascara is so good. It's the Milk Makeup, what is it called again? The Rise Mascara. Every time I've tried a new mascara since I've done this, I just go back to using this because I'm like, this is it. When you wear it on your lower lash, it doesn't like transfer like black pigment underneath your eyes. I've worn it out to brunch and everything, so try test it and true. Um, and it's just, it gives everything. It gives volume, it gives lift, it gives curl, it gives everything. And I love it, and it is also clean at Sephora. So, if you were looking for a new mascara to try, 12 out of 10 recommend, add to cart right away. And just so you know it's real, your girl has a backup. That's how you know it's real and how I love a product. I have a backup just to make sure that I'm not gonna run out because I don't want to live without this. All right, so the last two products are lip products. Do y'all like my lips today? I was always a tomboy growing up, so I was just always like, ew, pink, but like, I feel like now that I'm in my late 20s, ew, late 20s, am I really there now? To say late 20s, that feels really weird to me. I think I'm coming around to pink, and like by coming around, I think I really love pink, especially on me, because I feel like, I mean, if I do say so myself, I feel like I look kind of cute. So, I actually received this, I can't remember if this was a sample from a Sephora purchase or something, or if I received this in PR, but this is the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Lipstick. It's just a little sample, but she reformulated all of her liquid matte lipsticks, and the formula is really nice. It's really nice and this is such a beautiful color. What's the shade name? Perfectionist. It's perfect because that's me. No, but for real, like how cute is this pink though? Especially for spring. I love this lip. So obviously I've thrown some gloss on top, which is going to bring me to my current favorite gloss, y'all. Current favorite. It is the most beautiful thing in the entire world. Are you ready? Yes, it's NARS again. It's NARS. It's NARS. Hold on. We got to get even closer because I need y'all to see this. Look at that. 
And you know what I love about it? The fact that it's not like overly glittery. Let's see if we can get a little close up on my lips. Like look, it just looks shiny and glossy. And I just feel like the glitter in it gives it that little extra zhuzh of shine and stuff without being like clumpy glitter. It just adds a little bit of warmth to whatever you have on your lips, a little warmth and shine. Okay, so that brings us to the end of makeup. So we are gonna move on into our final category, which is skin. Ooh, I got so many goodies. Okay, first, before I mention any products, I will say that I finally, as you guys know, I mean, you saw my last video about my chemical peel and stuff. I finally found me an esthetician that I can go to, that I trust, and she's gonna help me maintain my skin and like just get the skin of my dreams, right? So I do use some staple products that I use every day from Zoe Skin, which is like a fancy, bougie, expensive skincare brand. I use three serums, one is a retinol, one's a brightener, and one's kind of like a moisture kind of thing. And then I use uh, exfoliating pads on my skin every single day. Those are like the four bougie products that are a staple in my routine and that's never gonna change. I'm always gonna use them because they have really honestly fed and transformed my skin in a way that I've never seen skincare do for my skin before. With that being said, those four products cannot be my entire regimen. Of course, like I need a cleanser, I need moisturizer, I need sunscreen. So what I've been doing is finding some really bomb like moisturizing products and sun protection products that I can supplement my fancy esthetician skincare uh, routine with to keep my skin balanced, moisturized, happy, and healthy. So, there is one skincare brand that y'all know I've really been digging into lately and I absolutely love. They are at Sephora, and that is Skin Fix. Their moisturizers are amazing. This is the XL version of one of their moisturizers. Love it. Love so much that they did this XL version because I literally use this every single day. They also recently launched a new moisturizer as well. So this is my old Holy Grail Skin Fix uh, Triple Lipid Peptide Face Cream. And then this one is their Skin Barrier Restoring Gel Cream. So the moisturizers are similar in that they feed your moisture barrier, which is super important just for your skin health overall. But the way that they're different is that basically this one is thick and juicy. It's got shea butter. It's just really nice. And then this one also super nice, but it's actually a gel cream. So obviously much more light weight and something that I definitely will be using especially now like as it's getting warmer in spring and summer so I've actually been using like gel cream in the day and heavier moisturizer at night and I love these so if you guys are in the market for a moisturizer I 12 out of 10 recommend um, I do as you guys know have acne prone skin I've been using them for a while I had never had any issues with them actually breaking me out um, these are actually dermatologist recommended and tested products they're clinically proven and everything they're just really really good the ingredients that they have in there are really good and so i really 12 out of 10 recommend i actually also went out of my way and purchased their eye cream because i was like i just gotta try more from this brand i actually picked this up from my sephora at kohl's order so if you didn't know sephora is actually opening up inside kohl's stores as well which is really cool but yeah i love this wears really nicely under makeup i have it on right now and it's not like you know greasy or anything it just keeps your under eye and also even your eyelids just really nice and moisturized and healthy next up i want to talk about this Caudalie beauty elixir this is a bougie product, probably not something that's 100% like necessary, like you have to have it in your regimen. Like I would say like skin fix products, I, they're pretty big hitters, I, I don't think I could live without it. This one is a kind of like a nice to have, but it is, yeah, really, really nice to have. It's just like a really nice beauty face mist and will be really nice, especially for spring and summer. Again, when it's hotter outside, it's very refreshing to your face, your skin, even on top of makeup. And it's just, it's really, really nice. It leaves like a really nice, refreshing dew on the skin. And Caudalie in general is a great brand, clean at Sephora. And they always pack all of their products with just really delicious skin benefiting ingredients. So I do really, really love this Caudalie mist. So if you're feeling for something a little bougie, or like especially I would say if you have particularly dry skin, this is something that you can continue to spray on your skin throughout the day to just give it some added refreshment. Okay, and for our last product, last but absolutely not least, is probably the most important product out of this entire video. 
and that's sun protection. You need to be wearing your sunscreen every single day. So my newest favorite sunscreen is by Supergoop. They just launched this not too long ago. It's called their Every Single Face Sunscreen, and I love it. It's actually called a watery lotion, and it is actually kind of watery, but it's not like greasy or anything. It just sinks right into the skin. It is delicious, and I love it. It is a broad spectrum sunscreen, which means UVA, UVB rays. It protects against them all, especially even blue light. This protects against blue light as well which is like from our computers and our phones and stuff it is a clean chemical sunscreen so like safe for the reef and all of that so going swimming in the ocean tick it's non irritating it's vegan and absolutely zero white cast so for everybody's skin tone for everybody's skin types because it's not greasy either it's just literally for every single face which is why they called it that and I love it honestly ever since I got it that's all I've been reaching for and I actually just recently purchased a backup just so I wouldn't have to live without it so 12 out of 10 recommended is SPF 50 I know this video is supposed to be about new favorites but I am going to go ahead and mention my old guy Mura just because of how important sunscreen is if you want a really good mineral sunscreen that is of equal kind of protection as this one then Murad the what's it called city skin age defense broad spectrum SPF 50 is a mineral sunscreen and it's the best mineral sunscreen I have ever used same thing broad spectrum and it is amazing I could not talk about sunscreen without mentioning this as well so new favorite old favorite I still keep both on hand and kind of rotate back and forth but I will say lately I just have been reaching for this one more because it's just it's just great but yeah guys that is going to be basically it for this video I'm so excited to share these products with y'all they genuinely make me so happy they make me feel so good about myself and I'm excited for you to feel that feeling as well because there's just there's just something about good quality products and then also buying them on a discount during the sale it just hits different. So I'm excited for you guys to try them. If you do, make sure you tag me on Instagram, any platform, honestly, comment below, let me know. But yeah guys, thanks so much for watching. Happy shopping, all right? And I'll catch y'all in the next one. Bye.